All right, what's up guys? Hope you guys are having a great day, man. I'm back from vacation. I'm ready to get back on the content grind and we're gonna be starting off today, man, with a new series. Now, the series is gonna be called Build a Scheme a Workshop, man. Basically, how this is gonna work is you guys are gonna leave a comment below on this video, drop a random formation, drop a random playbook. I'll basically, I'm just gonna pick five random comments from the previous video. We're gonna go onto a wheel. We're gonna spin the wheel, man, and whatever offense it lands on, we'll put five up there, whichever one it lands on. We'll go ahead, run that formation for the next video and what we're gonna do man was we're gonna hop in practice mode we're gonna go over some different route combos with you guys that way you guys can maybe apply some different concepts to your offense even if it's not the same offense you're running you know kind of learn from that and then also man we're gonna go to the lineup screen we're gonna break down the abilities that i would use if i was running that specific offense and then of course we'll hop into a game as well basically just do a live commentary see if it's good in game you know something may be good on paper but it may not be so good in game so we'll do all three of those things kind of go kind of go through the process of creating new offense man i tell you guys to be unique and madden it makes the game more fun it makes it harder for your opponent to go ahead and stop you as well if it's if you're running something they haven't seen before man you're gonna have a big time edge not only that like i said it makes the game a lot more interesting as well so i hope you guys enjoy the series man if you guys do please hit that subscribe button we're getting close to that 17,000 subscriber mark which is absolutely crazy with that being said man don't forget to leave a comment and let's go ahead and jump into the video all right, so here we go, guys. I got the wheel ready. Now, obviously, this is the first episode. So I'm gonna go ahead, generate the five random offenses myself. We'll put them on the wheel, spin the wheel, and whatever it lands on is what we're gonna run. But like I said, in future videos, man, it's gonna be based off the comments from the previous video. So drop a comment below with an offense you guys might wanna see me run. But right here, man, we try to switch it up. We try to add some variety in there. We got Gun, Empty Saint. I'm kind of hoping we don't get that so I don't get sacked 25 times in one game. But we got single back wing stack, some strong wing, the ultimate barber formation. We have pistol doubles Y off, and then we got split close Miami. Now, split close, obviously, super popular formation in previous years. Not really that meta this year. So I'm pretty excited to run any of these, man. Get creative out there on offense. With that being said, let's go ahead, spin the wheel. Which offense are we going to run? Gun up to say no, it's gonna be single back wing stack. Okay, now this is pretty exciting because this is a formation in that Buccaneers playbook that I've ran a ton this year, man. I've ran the empty bunch wide, I've ran the spread, I've ran the doubles as well. And then single back wing stack, another really solid under center formation that we can add to that Tampa Bay Buccaneers offense. So I'm super excited for that. With that being said, man, let's go ahead, jump in the lineup screen and break down the abilities that I would use in this offense. All right, so here's the roster, guys. It's looking super tough. We got Max Go Deep. We got Max Sprinter, 50 out of 50 Niners, and Vernon Davis, 98 speed, is going to be the focal point of this offense, man. He's rocking that double me X factor, deep in elite, deep out elite, and mid out elite. And the awesome thing about these catching chems, the reason I like to use them now, because of last patch, man, basically now these catching chems also boost your route running against man coverage, as long as the route that you're putting them on correlates to the ability they have. So for example, on deep and if I were to put Vernon Davis on a deep crosser or a deep post over the middle of the field, then he would get better route running on that specific route. Okay, so if I were to put him on a slant, that obviously wouldn't activate. You would need short and elite for that. But deep and elite is going to help us. You know, we're, we're going to be sending Vernon Davis with 90. We're not checking down with Vernon Davis 98 speed. We're sending him down the field, and all these catching cams are going to help him, not only against man-to-man, -man, but he's just going to ag people, man. That's what I'm looking for out here for my tight end. I want him to go up, get big, and come down with the ball every single time, and when you're talking about getting big, man, we got Randy Moss right here, deep and elite, only one AP. Aaron Rodgers, Gunslinger, Hot Route Master, the fastest release in the game. I could potentially use Escape Artisan on him as well, but I'm more of a pocket kind of guy. You guys know that. High low dead eye X Factor on him. A lot of people ask me why I don't use Omaha. Omaha is probably better. High low dead eye. I'm just I'm just a high ball and low ball fiend, man. I love to do it. And then Isaac Bruce right here with the route technician for 2AP since he is a route runner archetype. And he's gonna be our slot receiver. We're gonna put him on some motion slants, stuff like that. Hopefully get some separation against man. And obviously, when you're running a new offense, man, you're probably gonna play man coverage a ton, right? So we'll go ahead, we'll go into practice mode, lab up some double Mabel dots, we'll lab up some man-to-man -man dots, and all these abilities are gonna help me against man-to-man -man as well. So with that being said, let's go ahead, jump into practice mode. Little pro tip right here, man. Before trying a new offense, I love to go into practice mode just for a few minutes. You don't have to be in there for hours, man. 
but obviously a lot of different route combos transferred from formation to formation but it's still good to go out there make sure you got some dots against the double flat obviously super meta man to man as well super important to get a couple of those down we'll go into practice mode i got the two controllers make sure you guys have two controllers even though you know obviously i can't simulate uh you know a user or anything like that i can still set up the meta defenses drop some route combos and then just practice against it you know it's not going to be a hundred percent realistic but you're gonna get some good practice in before you get into games that way you're not just going in completely blind and getting blown out all right, so now that we're in practice mode, guys, I'm gonna go into coaching adjustments with my second controller. I'm gonna set them at five and 20, the way most people run their zone depths online. I'm just gonna drop some route combos here, man. I'm looking for deep corner routes. I'm looking for deep post right here, right off the rip. We're in fade smash or buck smash, excuse me. What I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna see if I can tack deep down the sideline with this play. I'll put Godwin on an out route. I'm gonna go ahead and put Gronkowski on a streak. And then we have something like this, man. We have the in route over the middle of the field. We have Godwin right here. I'm probably gonna motion him out. This usually does a pretty good job of pulling down any outside zone that might be out there. And I'm just going to motion snap it. So let's go ahead, look deep to Mike Evans down the field right here. He should get over top as long as we get enough time. And yes, sir, I'm passing it at like a 45 degree angle up towards the sideline. I don't want to pass lead it up or to the right just because that deep half that's up there might have a better chance of coming down and playing it. But that's going to be really good, man. My opponent's running cover two or two. If they're going ahead and running cover three, but deep having that way, they're not getting cover three bomb, which is what a ton of people do. That route's going to be really effective at getting over those super deep zone drops now remember that is a 20 yard zone drop so it's getting over top as long as we have enough time in the pocket as long as we're timing it as soon as he breaks over that cloud i'm going to pass lead it up to the left at that 45 degree angle possess and catch it down the sideline for a really nice gain here we are again, man. I'm going to go ahead and run this play right here. I believe it's called double corner. This is actually a really unique route here from the tight end. It's a bit of like a corner route, but he does a little bit of a double move, which is really nice. I anticipate this might be able to get underneath a 20 yard flat. So let's see if we can do it, man. I'm going to go ahead and streak Howard, and I'm going to put my running back on a swing route again. So that way he's kind of pulling down that short, that short zone if there's one out there. And I'm going to look to Gronk here on the right, man. I'm going to float a little bit to the right. And as you can see there, it's a tight window, but it actually gets underneath the 20 yard flat, which is going to be super handy because then if, I, if my opponent sees me running that play, man, they're going to go ahead, change their flats to like 10 or 15. And then that play that I just showed you guys with the smash play is going to be that much more effective of getting open deep down the field. Now attacking the double Mabel down the sidelines is a little bit risky. Obviously those throws are, are kind of tight windows. So I'm going to go to this play called flanker spot right here. It has a really nice inward stepping curl route, which is going to be really handy against the double Mabel, the double flat. You guys know how annoying that is basically they just guard the flats and control everything over the middle of the field so what i'm going to do here man is i'm going to utilize this play as a way to go ahead and destroy that double mabel so i'm looking for something similar to what i do out of trips man so what i'm going to do here is i'm going to do something like this i'm going to put mike evans on a slant i'm going to put howard on a post and then we can put gronk on a flat route here then we have our running back on a default swing route to the left so this should do a really nice job of getting the hitches open we'll probably have the slant and the post as well i anticipate pretty much everything being open right now on the field so let's go ahead and run that as you guys can see right there easy dot now there's a little bit of a spacing thing right there those guys very early on kind of run into each other and again i can't simulate the user but the user's gonna have to pick one or the other once the slant starts going across the field if he peels back to the curl route we hit the slant if he goes with the slant then we hit the curl route it's a super simple concept right here man let's just do it one more time so again i'll put mike evans on a slant I'll put Howard on a post and then I'll street Gronk so it looks like this. Let's go ahead, set up the defense real quick, double Mabel, and I'm gonna go ahead, hop on the D tackle right here. And again, let's go ahead, snap the ball. We pretty much have everything right open here. We can hit A right there with a pass lead up the field as well. So that's gonna be really effective against the double Mabel. All we really need from here, man, is a, is a play that can beat man to man. So I really like the look of this play, PA drag wheel. It's got this deep cross, this default deep cross that goes all the way down the sideline. It has a backside deep post. Obviously, my tight ends are not going to be bumped, so I'm going to put Howard on a drag. We'll put Gronk on a corner route. We can put him on an out route, delay fade if we think they're blitzing. Really, we can do whatever we want with them. And what I'm going to do here, man, is I'm going to click X and smart route him so he runs a bit of a shorter deep post, as you guys can see there. And let's see how this does against man coverage. It's play action. As you can see there, Godwin getting some nice separation over the middle right there. Unfortunately, not able to catch it. He doesn't have route tech or anything like that. That's why I'm going to be using deep in elite on Randy Moss. That's why I'm using that route tech on Isaac Bruce as well. That's going to help them get that separation. It's basically going to ensure that they make that catch over the middle of the field. Obviously, Godwin doesn't have deep in elite or route tech. So he's not getting the separation that I would ideally want. But I still think this is a really solid play, man. Let's go ahead and set it up one more time. I'm going to smart route it. We'll go ahead, put Gronk in a corner and Howard on a little bit of a streak there or a drag, excuse me. Go ahead, run man coverage. I'm going to cancel the play action with the right trigger. And as you guys can see there, 
the crosser is going to destroy man. So this is a really nice play against man coverage. My tight end is going to be unbumpable. So against man, I want to look to those guys a lot. They're not going to get pressed off the line, especially my opponent shading underneath. They have the safeties over top, making it hard to go ahead and throw those deep passes. So I'm liking this, man. Looks like Godwin's not going to get pressed either just because he's in a bit of a stack formation. I think this formation might be really solid against man coverage. So there it is, man. It took me like five minutes in practice mode to get like a couple different route combos I can use against certain different defenses. I'm pretty much ready against whatever my opponent may throw at me. Obviously, it's going to take a little bit of time and experience. Like I said, get the timing of the routes down, picking up different blitzes and stuff like that. We pretty much just practice against 335 wide. Like I don't have any plays against mass coverage right now. So that's something you guys can certainly go over in practice mode. You guys can spend as much time as you want there or as little time as possible. You can really hop into a game if you want to. Like I said, I think it's just a good piece of advice to go ahead, get some route combos down. Now I'm ready to jump into a game okay I, this kind of looks like dollar doesn't it i shouldn't be able to just run all over it okay that's i'm gonna no huddle it I, when i'm running two tight ends man his safety should be running in mud he should be getting weak box right here yep turn the corner moster turn the corner a little stop and go a little stop and go jamal adams running a little bit quickly but hey i don't know what this guy is doing this guy is in his super bowl running dollar against two tight ends there's no chance if you guys didn't know man your, your safeties are, are going to get weak box. They're, they're basically going to run half speed if your opponent's in anything with two tight ends or two running backs or anything like that. I'm going to go ahead, leave my cover two shell. I'm going to use my slot corner man up the outside guy. Nice run again. And I just have the worst defensive stick of all time. Can we make the tackle with Justin Reed? Oh my, I don't know what is going on. I, I think I just have the worst defensive stick of all time for some reason this game so far. I basically just let him score on, on what should have been a tackle for a loss. Okay, this is man-to-man. -man. We got the running back once again. That was a nice little route. It was actually like a purple option route. Because my opponent didn't blitz, he released on the route. And he actually did a really nice job of going to the right, basically just crossing up his user. He's in dollar again. I, got <laughs> I wanted to showcase some dots in this game, but I mean, if his safety is going to run that slow, and I, I have the worst stick work, like literally on earth. I just tried to stop and go with safety. That was literally running half speed. He's using his safety right here. I'm expecting man to man. That's what it looks like. Backside dig wide open. That was a nasty play. Basically had a, you know, I had the crosser to the left and then I had two routes to the right. He went with the drag and the backside dig was wide open. As you can see there, the play call was PA dig. Kind of, it wasn't like a, I didn't really, it was just a default route. Like it actually faked to the left, went up and then cut pretty deep down the field, like 10 to 15 yards. That was actually a really nice route. And as you can see there, it developed so late, he basically ran with everything else and just left it on the backside absolutely wide open. Play action, he might go back to that out route. Yup, I'm all over it. He's gonna lob it right to me. Simmons, yes sir. Simmons is a mammoth man. Nothing is getting over the top of him. A nice return, Simmons, let's go. Just fall. Everything else was bad. All I had to do was follow the cross with my user. I'm going to run belly weak though. And oh my God, we almost, I saw so much green grass. We almost got to the races right there. Belly weak, my first call of all time. I might go back to that against 335 wide. That actually looks super solid. So he ran some man to man right here. I'm kind of getting shedded. We have the delay fade open and Rogers misses the throw. I can't really be mad at that, dude. That was a super tough throw to make. I actually was kind of surprised that the lineman didn't chase me down. He got a really good shed, and we definitely had it open for what probably would have been a pretty big gain. So I'm anticipating man-to-man -man again here. He's using his safety, so he might go ahead and go for something like a, a man blitz here. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to block my running back just in case. He actually run commits. I had to really just press a random button. I'm pretty sure that was a run commit. I actually just, I just pressed the first button that my thumb was closest to. And, you know, if I get picked off on a run commit, I get picked off on a run commit, but... Okay, good defense for my opponent. Can we break something over the middle of the field? Randy Moss, yes sir, deep in elite. He's not dropping any of that. Was hoping to get in the end zone, but all we had to do, man, was be patient. I rolled out, wait for a route bounce. Man to man had me kind of bagged there initially, but hey, those route bounces after, you know, the play breaks down are going to be really good at getting separation against man. I'm going to just go for a quick read right here. If he tries to use us, I'm just pressing A right away. That's exactly what we do, and I almost ran another route into it, but hey, it's exactly what we were looking for. I, I probably got to focus on the left side. I was really just focused on my routes on the right, but hey, we get the job done. We take a two-possession lead. Let's get one more stop before half right here. 
We're all over with Simmons. Let me pitch it, pitch it, pitch it. Oh, I tried to pitch the ball. We ID'd him this time. We're getting all the separation in the world. Isaac Bruce, route technician. It's curtains, baby. There's no chance I'm folding a 21-point lead, right? Right? All right, so I was right. He did quit the game right there, man. A big dub. Let's hop into one more game. Let's see if we can get some better competition on defense. Not this time. Isaiah Simmons. I was ready for the scramble. Isaiah Simmons with the super score. Get out of there, young man. Yes, in the post as well. And then I just got to guard this right flat myself. And thank you very much, Isaiah Simmons. Yes, sir. He's out of there. All right, man. So another trip side in. I feel like we <laughs> we play this a lot, man. We play this a lot, a lot, a lot. He's got Marcel Risa running back, which is super interesting. Jimmy Garoppolo under the helm. Does he have playmaker out there? He does have playmaker. He has playmaker in a slot, so we got to watch out for that. I mean, that's a pick. That's a pick. Where is Dion? That is a default cloud. He's got to come up and make that play right there. Come on, Dion. Look alive, kid. All right, Randy Moss in motion right here. We got to watch for curl flat, double flat. I'm running back. Yep. Yep, I'm all over it. I'm all over it. That's got to be a pick, man. That was absolutely blind. I I had the perfect user on the backside. I let him just think the crosser was wide open to the tight end. And Awesome Wild's got to come up and pick that ball, man. He runs the ball, and he's going to have a really nice lane right there. I, I pass committed, which is probably the reason why I got burned right there. I'm going to go ahead and pitch my line. Just make this guy pass the ball. Yes, sir. We get some pressure right there. And the best player in the game, Justin Reed, making him force a mistake. I tried to bait it originally, my user. I, I pretended like I was going to run after the quarterback. Thought he might check it down to the receiver right in front of me. And then I basically committed to it. Kind of a bad decision from him right there. Didn't look like anyone was open. He kind of forced something. Hey, and we made him make that mistake. So good defense. I'm going to go to my little makeshift PA boot play right here at a gun bunch tight end. Let's see how good this play is. All right, it was pretty bad. We maybe had the crosser, but he gets a really nice set off the right side. That is the one downside of running those delay fades. It's basically going to be a tight end blocking an end. Good defense for my opponent right here. He's running a lot of the double Mabel. Let's go back to one of those plays I showed you guys in practice mode where we hit the curl routes. All right, so here we go. We got a curl route, we got a slant, and we got a post. There he is. I don't know where his user went. I think his user went to the right. He sent a ton of heat right there. We blocked our running back to pick it up. You know, I thought about I, I thought about putting my running back on a route, but when I saw that he spread his line. That's typically an indicator to me that he's going to try to blitz me. Little three-man rush right here. It looks like zone coverage, and we're over top with Vernon Davis. He's going to light up as well with that deep out elite. Nice stop, man. Let's go. I figure he might user rush the play. I blocked my running back and I deed the the guy user rushing. He came in regardless though. It didn't even matter. But I was ready, man. I said, you know what? If my running back doesn't block him, I'm hitting A up the middle of the field. And thankfully, Rogers got the ball off. That's why that release is so good. There we go. Going back to a similar play that I showed you guys in practice mode to beat the double Mabel. He went to the curl route. We hit the we hit the slant. Easy dot combo. Let's go, baby. Man to man with some zones mixed in right here. And he gets really good pressure with Hendrickson. I was looking for the option route for my running back. We end up taking a ginormous never, pause. Never mind. I was, I was gonna say something, I'm not gonna say it. Route tech, possession catch, pass lead it to the right. Dion actually had some really nice coverage on him. Dion does not have acrobat though. I'm going to take advantage of it. Pass lead it to the right. Possession catch, really nice dot. I may or may not have been checking my computer for something. And uh, I'm going to keep it pretty simple right here. Go with the cross man. We had a two linebackers cross man on the inside receiver and the tight end. We have our slot receiver cross man on the outside guy just in case he puts him on a deep post. And I pretty much just got anything underneath right here. That's got to be a pick. That's got to be a pick. No way the ball bounces into no man's land like that. My guy actually did an awesome job of playing that. That was the guy who was cross man. So on defense, when you're getting adjusted like this, man, it's important to switch it up. I haven't given him the same look more than two plays in a row. He might have it right there, but no awesome was all over. It should have been a pick again. The outside quarter, I'm telling you guys, man, no one is... 
no pro, nothing. No one uses the outside corner anymore. Gotta use those to stop those deep crossers. They do an amazing job of matching. We were playing lights out defense once again. I'm gonna do the same thing I did last play, but instead of having purples out there, I'm gonna have cloud flats. He might go to this double post play once again to his tight end. I was gonna try to bait it. He threw it pretty early. Nice stop for my opponent. We've seen that play a million times. I honestly thought he would go to it a little bit later. Good decision by him to throw it early. That way I couldn't bait it. And yeah, I just can't be too cute with it, man. Oh, I mean, he just gets all day in the pocket right there. I'm using all 12 AP on my D-line. And right now, they're nowhere to be found. This is kind of disappointing from my D-line. I'm not going to lie. What is supposed to get open? I, he was going for like a deep corner, like 13 yards out. Good defense. This is a big play right here. He's actually going to kick. On third and 10 with 19 seconds left, I guess maybe he thinks he can't run a play and then get the field goal unit out there just in case he gets it. I, I, I'm kind of speechless. I don't know why you wouldn't go for that. I'm up. I already have, I'm up seven. I get ball half and I get ball here with two timeouts. Like that's, I think he thinks he's being smart, but in my opinion, that was kind of stupid. I'm gonna go for some deep crosses right here. A little four man rush. As long as we get some good blocking, we should be good, man. We have the delay fade open to Kittle. Go down, please go down, go down. Okay. We have seven seconds of one timeout. So we need a super quick dot. We're about eight, nine yards from field goal range. Go down, go down, go down, go down. We got the, we got it off. I had to just really just throw the closest thing to me. We got the ball off. Uh, we had the most exaggerated animation of all time. I didn't think we were going to get down in time, but we got it with one second. The longest second of all time. Let's not miss the kick because, hey, I am very prone to just easily missing kicks in this game. Sanders lined it up. That's a clean kick, but wait. Was that not an accurate kick? Maybe, did it say it at the bottom or not? I thought I kicked it like perfect accuracy. He, of course he gets a block. He missed times it, thankfully though. We're up seven here. Let's drive it down and make it a two possession game. We don't want to be too greedy though. We don't want to be too greedy right here. I'm anticipating some man to man. We have Vernon over top and oh my goodness, is Vernon cooking? He's got the deep out elite as well. So even though he got contested right there on the catch, He's going to light up. He's going to catch it every single time. Big dot once again to Ver Big Vern, man. Big Vern, a big time focal point of our offense. Make the tackle. Thank you. We had the tight end post open. He generated some really nice pressure. O-line kind of folded right there. And even with how good Rodgers releases, we get hit as we throw. Of course he is Acrobat. Justin Smith is making a really nice play, man. Probably should have just thrown the ball away right there. Not a lot we can really do, though. Can't complain. He just got really good D-line pressure. Got to be more conservative with that play call. Wow. Wow. He playmakered a deep corner out. It was really good defense. Like, it looked really good. I mean, we can't really complain about that, can we? It was... We, we, we made really good adjustments. I didn't think he would be able to playmaker that guy deep down the field, but hey. Can we please shed, man? Look at all these abilities I have on my D-line. No one is doing anything right now. One second on the play clock. I got all day, and again, another pretty sketchy read. I'm going to make sure he's gone to hitches a lot on these, on these downs where he really needs them. That's exactly what he does again, and oh my god. He had the hitch open. He goes to the... The sideline fade. I thought Sherman would be able to knock the ball out right there, but good dot. Wow, that was a good dot. We had a couple zones over there. Thought especially since he was floating left, he wouldn't be able to make that throw. But boy, does he throw that on a dime into the end zone. We have a chance for a money drive, man. What more can we really ask for? I'm going to run dive against the spread line. Really nice game. That's a good start to drive up to the 41. Delay fade action and, um, huh. Interesting. Isaac Bruce, route technician. He's not getting caught. I'm trying to get sticky, but we all know K-Mac has no stick work.
Hey, that's the play I was talking about earlier, man, for beating the double, Mabel. Three-man rush. We should have all day. And we're going to have the slant once again. That play is so good against the double flat defense, man. All right, I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try the belly weak, man. I'm going to try the belly weak. He did, in fact, run commit. Can we get in the end zone? No, Rod Woodson comes up and makes an amazing tackle. He's not calling his timeouts, which I'm pretty surprised about. Okay, I'm going two slants right here. I'm going to keep it simple. If you play zone, I might have the hits. Let's see what we got right here. Low three-man rush. Low three-man rush. It's all day. That slant from Isaac Bruce is just getting open versus zone. It's getting open versus man. He doesn't know how to stop this right now. He's going to have to use it, but it's a little bit too late for that. I'm going to run a cover two shell right here. If he tries to attack me down the middle, then all the power to him. But I'm going to do two outside quarters, defend the sideline. I got two purples underneath. And then I'm just gonna, I'm just gonna watch for anything deep over the middle myself. He's doing a lot of like a lot of arm motions right here. Maybe he's trying to double team. Thank you, thank you. Bye, Simmons, the best user in the game. That's what I'm talking about, baby. I mean, I thought it might be a little bit more suspenseful than that, but I I'll take it right off the rip that I want to because there's no other threat. I fumbled. Well, I. I said I thought it would be more suspenseful, and uh, and there it is. Didn't think I would fumble, but I did. So, nice, K-Mac. Way to be an idiot, and, and uh, yeah, just nice job. Good job, K-Mac. Really proud of you, man. All right, let's, let's get it stopped. <laughs> Woo! Okay, I'm perfectly fine with that. The clock is going to continue to run. He's going to spike the ball, but he just lost like 12 seconds. He should have called a timeout. That was a big mistake from him. Come on, Javon Curse. Where are you, buddy? Where are you, buddy? Sherm. Big Sherm. Ooh, right through our hands. I need that to be a pick. So instead of having an outside quarter on the right, I'm going to go ahead and put an outside third there. He tried to like manipulate the way the quarters match. Not a bad chance. I think he maybe just threw it a little bit late. So instead of outside quartering the trip side, I'm going to put a deep third out there. 11 seconds, one timeout. He kind of screwed himself by not calling timeout in the last play. Just watch the crosser. And yeah, we got a million people right there. It doesn't matter if they give him a fumble, man. This guy's got no chance. Pitch the ball. I don't even care. Pick it up, Simmons. Pick it up, Simmons. Ooh, get out of there. Well, there's one second left. But hey, that's going to be GG's. I'm going to kneel the ball. I'm not going to make the same mistake I just made and fumble with Moser. Game tried to make it interesting. We came out with the dub, though. Hope you guys enjoyed the video. If you guys did, man, please hit that subscribe button. It helps me out a ton. And I'll see you guys next video, man. Peace.